Um, this is the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. I've been using this morning and night. And I really like how it feels on my skin. It is a thick cream, but it's, I don't know how to explain it. It's like lightweight at the same time. It's not too heavy. I bring a little bit under my eyes. I'm going to use this SPF, even though I'm probably going to use a tinted SPF as well. Um, but Kiehl's also sent over this Better Screen UV Serum. It's just a sunscreen. And I just love the way that this smells. It just, it kind of reminds me of my grandma. Um, so I'm going to do a little bit of that on my face as well. Mm. Yeah, like this reminds me of the Olay sunscreen. That's what my grandma would always wear. It was like a white bottle with a black top. My hands. Lately, I've pretty much just solely been using my air wrap for my hair and I just like blow it out. If you want a video on that, let me know. It's very easy and I haven't been putting like any heat on my hair other than my air wrap. But today, my hair is second day hair and I've been washing my hair pretty much every day or like if I'm going to go somewhere, I'll wash it and blow it out because it doesn't take a lot of time. But today, I'm kind of crunched for time so I think I'm actually going to do some waves which I haven't done in a minute so um just to kind of work with the greasy hair which it's not even that greasy it's just I don't know ever since going darker with my hair I feel like it looks greasier faster and I don't know so I'm just going to work with it today and I'm actually going to use um my sunglasses as like my headband and then I'll be set. So it's my GHD Curve Curling Iron. I section this off to the side. And then do three horizontal sections on this side. Go right above the ear. And then I'm gonna use the Paul Mitchell Hot Off The Press Heat Protectant. I haven't used this in forever because I haven't been putting heat on my hair. But I've been using this since like high school. the last like 15 years okay and then I'm just gonna grab little sections like this that's like an inch thick maybe inch and a half and just curl I'm gonna alternate away and towards my face and instead of pulling straight on the bottom I'm gonna have that be a little wavy too I don't want it to be too pin straight so the ends will kind of look like that instead of more straight. That's usually what I do when I do waves is keep the ends more straight so it looks more like just like relaxed. For this I want it to be more like wind blown. And that was a little curly so I'm going to brush through it quickly. through it cute and now I'm just gonna do that to the rest of the hair alternating back and forth going away and towards my face
it is wavy. This is exactly what I was looking for. So I'm gonna go in and use a little bit of dry shampoo. I don't have a lot in here, but this is the Not Your Mother's Clean Freak Dry Shampoo. I'm gonna put this right at my roots, mainly at the crown of my head, like over here. And then through here. I really have to rub this in now that my hair is darker because you will see it. And then I'm gonna grab the Fat Boy Texture Spray. This is my favorite texture spray. It's very lightweight and does the job and smells really good. So I like to kind of lift my hair up while I spray. little bit of oil. This is the Redken Diamond Oil. It does look a lot different now. It's in different packaging. Um, but I'm going to do just the tiniest bit here and just run that through the ends just to give some shine and definition back in, into the hair. Super cute. Right before I leave, I might come and touch it up with a little bit more texture spray and oil, but I think this is good. Especially with the outfit that I have planned, I think this is gonna go really well with that. Okay, so for my makeup, I think I'm just gonna do something very simple, quick, nothing crazy. So I'm gonna zoom right through this. If you want like a dedicated video on like what my everyday routine is let me know I can do that um it is pretty similar to like all of my everyday looks but I do switch up products and things like that so I'm gonna zoom through this and show you what it looks like after no time to waste I'm levitating to your place huh? hands on my waist no hesitation check me bronzer as my eyeshadow and I just switch out what products I use for my lip and I also switch out my blush but everything else is pretty consistent this is no foundation very wearable very quick very easy and I think that this works for like any occasion hello sweetie you just sitting here why do my makeup you so sweet okay so I want to show you my outfit I really want to start dressing a little bit more What's the word? Just less millennial, more, not even trendy, but just a little bit more classic, I guess. But at the same time, I feel like classic is a little trendy right now, but just a little bit more my age in a way. Anyway, this is the outfit that I've set aside. I feel a little, I don't know what the word is. I just feel a little like a poser in this outfit, but it's okay. I'm gonna wear it today because I'm going to Zara for this event. Um, I don't even know if I've mentioned that yet. I'm headed to Zara for their store opening in um, Skokie. 
So I want to dress more like Zara E instead of just like wearing a sweatshirt and leggings. Let's like dress it up a little bit. So, so this is what I've set aside. I have um, these like black pants from Aritzia and I have this bodysuit from Abercrombie. It is going to be a little chillier. It's about like 65 out. So I do have this 30 years button up that I'm going to put over the top. I think this paired with this is what makes me feel, I don't know. I don't know the word, like not my style, but then when I see other people wear it, I'm like, that's really cute. And I want to dress that way. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to wear it. And if I get warm, I can take it off. And this is this, I feel confident in this is a vibe. It's just wearing this with that. I'm like, should I be wearing that? I don't know. Got my bra. And then these are two belts that I have. Um, this one I got from Nordstrom like years ago, like maybe 2017. And this one I got from Amazon. This one I think looks like more elevated, but then when I put it on, I think this one looks better with the outfit. So we'll see which one I end up putting on. And then I have these sunglasses, which are the Amazon ones that I really love. So I'm not sure if I'm going to wear these or my Chanel ones. We'll probably look in the car and see what looks better. And then I have some black Birkenstocks that I'm gonna wear with this. Okay, I really wish I had on a spray tan, but it is what it is. I think I'm gonna do this belt. This is the outfit. And I put on my Birkenstocks. I ended up deciding just to keep the size seven. Um, once I, I had one more hole that I had to tighten on each side, then they seemed to fit fine. I just need to put on this shirt. Okay, this is with the shirt. Again, I feel a little out of my comfort zone in this. Oh, that's not cute. Okay, rude. What? This is the outfit. I'll probably just wear my Louis Vuitton purse with it. Although I do think that a belt bag, fanny pack, across me underneath would be cute. Keep it like more casual. Something about throwing this on top though makes me feel like I'm like 50. <laughs> but I just see all the girls wearing it on my fragrance so I'm all set to go I quickly just wanted to show you what I'm returning at the mall so I decided I'm keeping the Birkenstocks I think the size will be fine but I do think that I'm gonna return these um, some of you guys said that they're ugly and I get it they are kind of like it's just a simple sandal I don't know the reason I'm returning them is because I feel like these will give me a blister and I think if I'm going to do these sandals I would like to do like the espresso brown color because every time I put them on I just think they would look so much better in that. Um, so I think you know the Birkenstocks are just so comfortable I would like to get just like a nude pair because I would like a simple either like a creamy like a creamy white or a nude sandal that I can wear with pants and stuff so um for the summer obviously so um I think I'm gonna return these maybe get a nude pair of Birkenstocks um and then that robe that I showed you guys from Abercrombie a while back this one I'm gonna return it it's too small I actually have some Amazon stuff to return but I forgot to bring it so <laughs> that's all um let's go You look at me like you know something I don't It's almost like you see where this thing's gonna go
me up or send me to my knees Stop prophesizing that you'll wreck my life And leave me high and dry, yeah But you look at me like you know something dumb It's almost like you see where this thing So the event yesterday was so much fun just because it's nice to get out of the house and like get dressed up to go somewhere and do something and it's funny because I just like don't do influencer events anymore really like if people invite me and it's in the vicinity I'll go but yeah it's just been like a really long time since I've done that kind of stuff. I went to an event last summer in the city and it was really fun just to get out get dressed up and go do something but yeah I just like don't do that anymore so it's fun to do that I want to like get dressed up more often because I always end up wearing just like baggy t-shirts leggings like literally what I'm wearing right now uh leggings and a t-shirt or like a sweatshirt and I don't know it's just fun to get like cute and go somewhere and have a reason to do it so that was fun the store was beautiful at least the one in oak brook that i go to a lot of times there's just so many people and it gets really messy the lines get really long so they're fixing that i guess by doing like self-checkout and this whole store was just like very elevated and like all of the clothes were just so beautiful they gave me a gift card which i am just so excited so now i'm just like shopping online to like find some cute outfits and i can share them with you um so yeah i'm looking forward to that that was a lot of fun and now i'm actually headed to the farmer's market i'm gonna pick up my friend candace we're gonna get some eggs and i would love to get some sourdough bread and then they have um like you pick flowers so you can go in the field and pick some flowers and then they're only like five dollars for a bouquet so i'm excited for that the only thing is it looks like it's going to rain it's been kind of like cloudy and gloomy all day which sucks because this is just kind of like a a sunshiny kind of event you know so that kind of sucks but she's gonna bring some umbrellas we're gonna go anyway we're just gonna have fun so um these are the best eggs i've ever had in my life they are so good so i'm very excited to get some eggs so i can make some good scrambled eggs with toast and ah uh, so good so that's where we're headed now by the way i just did quick makeup per usual got on my nike hat and then this shirt that actually just got delivered today from etsy it says cowgirl era i saw this on pinterest actually and then went straight to etsy and i was like i want that shirt i think it's so cute of course now that I'm home and we're done it's beautiful outside the sun's actually shining again but when we got there it was just pouring rain so there were like no vendors or anything so we'll have to go back another time because that was not what I was hoping it was going to be but it's okay I still got my eggs these are the best eggs I've ever had they're beautiful because they have multiple different colors you got some blue and brown yellow gorgeous they just taste amazing and then they have these beautiful bouquets of flowers and i just love anything with this color scheme any of these like like berry pink colored and purple just so so beautiful and it's in this just really cute bouquet so um yeah that's what i picked up now i just got home probably just gonna make some dinner wash my face I have to check in with my mom because my mom is coming over tomorrow. Um, I have to do some editing. I don't know if I'm going to edit tonight or edit tomorrow, but... 
Mm. Get after it. <sighs> when did all this show up? A, a long, long time ago. Really? Yeah. Oh I, man, I, I've been, I've been fucking eating fucking yeah, beans no, out of the like cover. Full, what the fuck? Yeah, I don't know why you've been doing that. We've got lots been of been slumming it. <laughs> And I just postponed the next box because it's supposed to get billed next week. Yeah. And I postponed it to end of June. Yeah. And I it. added hot dogs. I did not. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It, the best. I'm willing to every now and then eat the Aldi $2 hot dogs <laughs> in order to get the butcher box ones. And in order to just appreciate the butcher box yeah. ones. They are. Because the other ones are like close to $7 at Aldi's for, for the Vienna ones. Yeah. And that's what they are at Strax. And the other ones were like eight for the butcher box. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like two packs for seventeen dollars or something. They're way better. Yeah. Way better. Like a noticeable difference, but all these got the butter buns, which they didn't have again. Um, they did not. It, their store was like fucking ransacked. Wow. Like I, I want it. I want it. Peak hours, I'm sure. Yeah. Oh, these are so yeah, pretty. So fucking busy. I pulled in there actually on the way home from mom and dad's and fucking went home and took the dogs out and showered and then went back because it was so fucking busy. Yeah. And uh, it was still busy by the time that I got there again. Damn. <sighs> these flowers are nice because it's from their field. It's cool. Yeah. And it's like seven bucks. Okay. This is my arrangement. So pretty. So, put this here. I do need to wash this table. She is beautiful and I just realized I need to put water in it. <laughs> so pretty. I love this. It's like filler stuff. So pretty. Well, hello. I am so sleepy. It's seven o'clock. I had a very productive day. I filmed, edited, uploaded. My mom came over. I'm just so sleepy because the last like couple hours I just sat on the couch just to like not, maybe not a couple hours. It was maybe like an hour. Uh, but I just like scrolled on TikTok and now I'm like, okay, you have to do the things that you're going to do, which is I need to do the dishes. I've just been loving having such a clean kitchen. You've seen my cleaning videos in the past. I've gotten used to, in the past, well, what am I trying to say? In the past, I would let dishes just pile up. We do have a really small space. Um, but I just got to a point where like that was really like affecting me. And so now every day I do the dishes. If I don't do them, Ruben does them. Same with laundry, although we've let laundry get away from us at the moment. But something about the kitchen always being like tidy and put together is really important for me because this is like the main area, the kitchen and the living room, just having this always picked up is really important for me. So um, I told myself I'm gonna do the dishes because they're really not that bad. I just want them done so that they don't pile up. So I don't have a lot, just a little bit. And I've got the dishwasher, if this is full, Ruben loaded it yesterday. So I'm gonna empty that, do the dishes, and then <laughs> Petey's looking at me like, who are you talking to, lady? I know. What, okay, are we coming over here? I'm not talking to you. I love you though. Yeah, it's so sweet. <laughs> um. It's so funny getting to know his personality. It's just like come out so much in the last couple weeks. He is bonkers. Um, he is just, he's got so much energy and just, it's funny how dogs can have their own personalities like people. When my mom was over, we were talking about it, how like, cause everyone has been comparing Petey and Pretzel and saying like, they're so much alike, but they are actually completely different like their personalities are so different he is just so just like off the wall but sweet and like wants to please you and 
is just so licky and lovey where pretzel isn't affectionate with everyone she's very affectionate with reuben and me um and sometimes like with my mom or reuben's mom but she's very independent very like on her own very confident um likes her space but like she's a little scrappy and a little sweet and like has a soft heart and he's he's gay but he he has a special connection to classical music. There's many things that are interesting about him. Oh, I just, I love them. They're my little children. Anyway, um, I wanted to show you this t-shirt that came in. I ordered two t-shirts from Etsy. The one you saw yesterday, I was wearing it, had the like cowgirl print on it. Super cute. And then I also ordered this one because I have, like, I love baggy t-shirts, especially, <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, leave her alone. She doesn't want to play right now. She didn't want to play. Um, I have a lot of like baggy t-shirts it's like what I live in but I don't have anything that's like very summery everything is like either like black white or gray so I got the cowgirl one and then I ordered this one which this is technically a Taylor Swift shirt but it's like it's not as obvious you see isn't that so cute I love it it's like a, a beigey color it says Florida it says Taylor Swift in Florence so yeah, I'm excited about that. I think it's super cute. Um, I'll probably wear this when I do my flowers and stuff, which I will be doing in just a couple of days. So you'll see that vlog soon. Um, but yeah, I am just feeling like really, oh, I'm gonna be on. Oh, I'm feeling so tired and just out of it. I think I'm gonna, you know what, before I do the dishes, I'm gonna make myself some electrolytes because that will help get my energy going. So let's do that. I wanna do the dishes. I have to feed the animals. Um, let them see, let them see. I have a water bottle specifically for my electrolytes, um, but I put it in the dishwasher one time and it, it was ruined ever since, so it just looks crazy and it always looks dirty now, but it's not. Um, and I just, like, I don't want to, like, get rid of it just because it's, like, looks gross. I mean, maybe you can't even tell, but in person you can tell it's, like, really, like, dingy on the bottom, um, which sucks. But that's okay. I need better water bottle organization um and then let me grab an electrolyte packet so what i do is i'll fill this up to okay i feel like in here you can really tell that it's like dingy but that's okay um i'm gonna fill it up to about the 16 ounce mark with water what are you doing am i doing something And then these are my favorites. I love the raspberry flavor, but they have a bunch of other flavors. I recently got my mom hooked on these, my friend Candace hooked on these. They're just so good. And they just make you feel amazing. It like gives me energy, even though there's like no caffeine in here or anything. It's just like all like um, sodium, potassium, magnesium, and a little stevia, it's a little sweet. Uh, but it also is very salty as well, which I just, I love it. So, it kind of tastes like I'm having like a little fruit juice. So then I shake it up. Mmm. I'm going to put on a podcast or some music, do some dishes. I also want to just straighten up the living room. It's not like dirty or anything. It's just... These dogs <laughs> love to just empty out that basket and then toys get everywhere. Um, so I just want to put that away and fluff up the cushions and that's it. That's all. I do need to vacuum, but I'm going to do that tomorrow. Is that cool with you? Okay. <laughs> let's, let's clean. What am I going to put you on? This. Perfect.
somewhere down the line We changed and we grew And we fell out of touch as time goes by Still I'm holding on to I know that it's time for me to let you go I know that it's time for us to part Though it breaks my heart Chickens waiting for their chicken. <laughs> okay, pretzel ladies first. Dance my good girl. Sit. Good sit. Dance such a good girl. Good job. Good boy waiting. What's your chicken? We don't know sit yet, but that's okay. Good boy. Make sure that they have separate bowls and they're each not allowed to eat out of the other one's bowl, even though both of them try it sometimes. Yeah, this is good because I think this helped, um, you know, just have their own personal space. Good job, good boy. Good boy. Yeah, go, go, go. good boy. This is my good girl. Good girl. Petey, no. See, you're gonna do it right now while I'm filming. Ah, uh ah, -uh. no. Oh, no. Good boy. Good boy stopping. Yeah. That's good. Okay. That's all. Let's go peep these girl. Party time. Party time. Hi, Pretzel girl. You could go peep these. Good stretch. Good job. Come here. Good boy, Petey. Good stay. Good job sitting on your, oh, go back. Get back to your spot. Oh, 
small mister. Okay, get to your spot. Come on, get to your spot. Good girl, go and poops. There's a good girl. Good job. Good job. Okay, Petey, leave her alone. Go on, baby. Good boy. Good girl, Petey. I'm so proud of you. You should be so proud of yourself. Wow, yeah, what is that? Okay. Good girl. Let's go, boy. Good job, PD. Woo! We got two pooping dogs. Woo! Woo! Two poos moo. Okay, you're free. Okay, so I usually keep my house at like no more than 68 degrees, maybe 69 on a good day, but between 67, 68, I feel like that is like absolute perfection sometimes I get crazy and I get down to 65 like in the middle of the night I like it nice and chilly I like it brisk well it was a beautiful day the house was staying around like 69 to 70 degrees which I was fine with because we didn't have the air on I just had windows open I looked at the the not, I was gonna call it a thermometer I looked at the thermostat it was 75 in here I am like dying so is that open that is open So I cranked the air on. So I'm just sweating. It's the end of the day. I'm just going to take my makeup off because I'm ready for it. I'm like a sweaty, dirty mess. I was wanting to put on a self tan today. I think I'm going to have to wait because I'm just not in the mood to be all sweaty and have on a self tan. Like, and I lacked Petey in here because he won't leave Pretzel alone. She's over it. She's had her playtime for the day. She's done. I read somewhere, maybe it was a TikTok or something, uh, that said when you sleep, you should put your hair up into a very loose bun. And it's supposed to help with like the damage of the hair, um, just to have less damage and breakage. But then also, so you don't wake up with your hair looking all crazy. So I saw them do like this, and then they do like this. And then just a very light, just like two around. So it's still like really loose and whatever. Um, I don't do that all the time, but the times that I have done that, my hair, when I wake up, I could just like take it out and it looks decent. So interesting. For makeup removal, I'm going to be using whatever is left from my Desi Skin So Balm Makeup Melting Remover. This is just the best thing ever. Um... I'm almost out of it and I need to order more. And then I'm going to go in with the Desi Canvas Cleanser. I have some trash TV to catch up on. Um, pretty much just the Valley. I think I have two weeks of the Valley to catch up on. I've actually been really liking that show a lot more than Vanderpump Rules, which is funny because like I haven't watched Vanderpump Rules in the last like 10 years or whatever. I think I watched like the first couple seasons. That was it. But I started watching it again last year when all of that drama came out. And so then I was like, well, now I got to watch this season. It's just so boring. Like I don't, I'm not into it. Um, but The Valley also has like a lot of unnecessary drama, but I do like it better. I just think that like most of the guys on that show are just a bunch of douchebags. I don't get why these women are with them. The only one that isn't a douchebag is, ugh, I forget her name, the one that just had twins. She either had twins or triplets. Um, the one that was like, she was Miss USA, I think. Um, I like them. I think they're a really cute couple. She seems really sweet and she's being very open about like her postpartum depression um, and he seems like a really sweet, supportive husband. Where the rest are, they just give me achy vibes. I don't know. 
or they'll like do things and say things that like insinuate that they are like cheating or their spouse is cheating or I don't know. It's just like oh, time for cleanser. This has just been my favorite duo. It's so good. It's simple. I feel like with most things, I like simple things. I don't want products to be like just, you know, claiming all this crazy stuff. I just want it to do its job. Simple, I just want you to wash my face. I don't need anything crazy. This doesn't have a scent, it doesn't do anything crazy, which is exactly what I want. It doesn't break me out, it doesn't make me feel like taut after, but I feel clean. It's just perfect. Oh, I gotta brush my teeth. They look yellow. So now I'm gonna go into the Colleen Rothschild Complete Eye Cream. This is one of my favorites that I've been using for, gosh, is it since like October now? So I'm gonna take this right lightly under the eyes. I'm gonna go into the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. Apply this on my face and my neck. I put a lot of moisturizer on my nose because for whatever reason I get really dry right here. Not anywhere else, it's just right there. I feel like I didn't get my mascara off very well, but that's okay. I'm just I'm over it. Um, and then I am going to finish up with my Differin. I've been trying to use this a lot more recently because there was a couple weeks there where I didn't use it. Um, and if you listen to the skincare episode on the podcast, um, Amanda talked about how you can put Differin on after your moisturizer and it's not as intense. And I wasn't having like anything crazy with my skin, but in like this area, I was getting a little bit more sensitive. So having that barrier is really good. And then you can use it more frequently if your skin is fine with it. And then I put the rest on my hands. Okay, set up everything. It's like, that's how it comes out. Like, I wanted to let you guys know that Amanda and I are filming the next four episodes of the podcast and two of them we need your help on. So um, send an email to this email address. It's in her skin podcast at gmail.com. So for the first one, submit your deepest, darkest secrets, like your spicy confessions, things that you've like never told anybody about. And we will keep you completely anonymous. You don't have to sign your name. Um, obviously, we will see your email address, but we're not looking you up or anything. Um, and if you know how to send an anonymous email, I don't know. Anyway, so for the first one, submit your spicy confessions, your deepest, darkest secrets, and put that in the subject line, deepest, darkest secrets, or spicy confessions. And then the second one, submit your toxic friendship stories, either how your friendships fell out, um, things that a friend in high school did to you, thing that, things that like maybe you were a toxic friend and things that you did and now you realize like oh whoa like I was unhinged submit those stories as well and we will be reacting to both of those in separate episodes but we will actually be recording that the day after this video goes up so get your stories in send an email let us know your stories so we can react to them um, I'm really excited I like reaction videos we did an episode on um, am I the asshole like the reddit page or whatever that's one of my favorite episodes because it's just so funny just us reacting to like other people's stuff. So I'm excited about those. I will also put the link down or I'll also put the email down below. Um, I think I'm going to close out the vlog here. I think I'm going to start editing it. If I don't, I'm going to watch The Valley and maybe some YouTube videos. Uh, we will see. Now that I'm finally cooling off, I might actually put on a spray tan. I was like so sweaty and hot and had like my makeup on. I was like, oh, la, la. But now I'm feeling better. The air is kicked on. I'm feeling more relaxed. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You want to go? You want to go? Go, go, go. I'm going to close out this vlog here. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Don't forget to submit your stories to the In Her Skin podcast email. And that's it. I'll see you guys soon.